what is, it, is there any one thing that you found the most challenging about your experience? <sighs> that's, that's a great question too. Um, I think it was dealing with your, your own personal emotions, um, trying to keep yourself uh, on an even keel every day. Uh, there was no time for being in a bad mood or, or being reticent about what we were about. So just trying to, uh, trying to approach every day as a real day and, you know, we kept short timers calendars. Some guys put them on their helmets and marked off days and things of that nature. Uh, 62 and a wake up, you know, which means he's got 62 days and the next day after that he flies out on his rotation tour date. As you approach that, you two things happen. One, you, you get excited about perhaps maybe even surviving this thing and getting back to the States. Number two, you get this overwhelming bubble of extra caution comes over you about, I don't want to die in the last month I'm here. So, you know, that, that becomes a double-edged sword too. Uh, the the policy in my unit was when a guy got under 30 days, they tried to protect him to a, to a certain extent. One of the most hazardous things we did was night ambushes. We would go out in very small teams, two, three, four men, and, and lay in an ambush area waiting for the enemy and to engage them if we could during the night. We didn't send guys out on those night ambushes that had a couple of weeks left in country, typically. Uh, but it happened, and, and a lot of times a guy, we'd be going out on a, on a patrol that, that was known to be in very hazardous country. We called it Indian country sometimes. Uh, if we were going into an area we know we were going to be hitting things, uh, uh, the CO would try to tell the first sergeant and the company guys to take care of the short timers, but that wasn't really possible because we were so short handed anyway. I mean, typically units were operating at far less than full strength all the time due to casualties and rotation issues and things of that nature. So you didn't have the luxury of keeping guys out of the mix too much. Uh, 